There is nothing more prestigious than this. We await this year's UEFA Champions League final here at the magnificent Metropolitano Stadium in the Spanish capital, Madrid. A warm welcome from me, Derek Ray, joined for commentary as always on these occasions by the former Arsenal and England fullback Lee Dixon. It is Juventus versus Barcelona. Well, hundreds of millions of people will be tuning into this one. Probably the biggest club game in the world. Pointed end of the tournament. Who's going to come out on top? Well, Derek, we're just about to find out. Very, very excited. Well, unsurprisingly, we're going to focus on Cristiano Ronaldo. What should we expect from him today, Lee? Well, he's arguably one of the best players, if not the best player in the world. And do you know what, Derek? What his best quality is, he fully understands what upsets defenders. And the old lady of Italian football going with this starting 11. Wojciech Szczesny starts in goal. Miralem Pjanic starts alongside Sami Khedira in central midfield. And leading the attack today is the heart to contain Cristiano Ronaldo. With a capacity of almost 68,000, this is a fine football stadium, the Metropolitano here in Madrid. Yeah, I'm very envious of these modern players. They get to play in these really beautiful, beautiful new stadiums. And the Barcelona shape looks like this. And you tend to know what you're going to get tactically from this team. High pressing. Well, high pressing, high energy. I played this system at Arsenal many a year under George Graham. It doesn't half work when it works well. Sometimes you can just get exposed in the back, but they've got it down to a tee, to be fair. And they're underway now in the Champions League final. We're about to find out which team is the best in Europe. Now Quadrado. Cristiano Ronaldo, an authoritative challenge. Our younger fans might think it would be incongruous for Juventus not to be in the Champions. And Ronaldo takes on the shot. Well, it might still work out for them. And sloppy from Rakitic. Oh, he's through here. Only the keeper to beat. A goal for the Bianconeri. Goal for Juventus in the Champions League final. Well, finals are for heroes. Is that the goal that lifts the trophy? We'll wait and see. Well, just look at this. They all back off him and he takes the advantage. He goes through one, two, three. In the end, it's a wonderful solo goal. Underway again with Juventus in front. Really fine initial touch. Uh, Barcelona in Champions League. And he's broken free. Can he beat the goalkeeper? Oh, what a goal! A tremendous strike. Hard to believe that he elected to take on that shot. Absolutely brilliant.
let's have a look at this replay. Caught the keeper on his heels, and this is why. Short back lift, great strike, takes everybody by surprise. Well, let's go back to the goal that was scored. So 2-0 now. Now here's Arturo Vidal. Given away by Barcelona. It's going to be a free kick for Juventus. Ronaldo lost it. And decent progress here from Luis Suarez. He has options. Pjanic now. Oh, goodness, he was right on top of the situation to get the ball back for his team. And it's with Coutinho. That is a moment he would dearly love to have back, if possible. Yeah, it wasn't his best effort, was it? But I bet he thought, I haven't got anything on. Why not try a shot? Quick thinking to dispossess his opponent. And he's made headway. Does he have the beating of the goalkeeper? Well, clattered away. Corner for Juve. So the corner played into the box. The delivery courtesy of Dybala. Well, he had a decent reading of that ball in. The cross is on. And it's fallen for Ronaldo. A Juventus corner forthcoming. Corner delivered by Miralem Pjanic. Oh, surely. Pjanic. Kadira might fancy it. Juventus have scored. Attack after attack. Sooner or later, you're going to score a goal. Well, we're going to see that again and let's see the cross again. It's absolutely brilliant. Good power on it. And then watch this headed goal. Well, the goal again, albeit from a different angle. Well, sadly, we have to conclude that this hasn't really been a contest, but all credit to any side committed to scoring goals like this. Messi Dybala here's Ronaldo looking comp running towards goal one man to beat and the old lady in rude health a goal for Juve what a goal that is it was just a matter of time before it happened well let's see that again once he gets into his stride he just strolls past players what a lovely solo, wonderful effort this is. And a bit more analysis as regards the goal. Well, it has been one-sided, but they deserve the plaudits for the fact that they've kept going and going. Not a hard save for Ter Stegen to make. On the ball, Luis Suarez. Now here's Arturo Vidal. Rakitic on the ball. Suarez. And in with a real chance. Only the keeper to beat. The net is steering him in the face. And it's gone in! Well, as we look at this again, the keeper's every right to ask where his back line was, but 
2v1 in the end. He's thinking now, is he going to pass or go round? He's got no chance. There has been a gulf in quality tonight, but you've really got to give them credit for the fact that they haven't let up at all. Here's Ronaldo. Well, the action is going to continue for a while yet. We will have four minutes of stoppage time. That is excellent pressure high up the pitch. Vidal losing out. And Ronaldo tries his luck. Corner coming up for Juventus. Now the delivery, attending to his defensive chores. And scope for the cross. Moving through the gears. He's just a thorough reader of the game. And that is that for the first half in this Champions League final. And my goodness, Lee, did we think it would be so lopsided? Well, I didn't. And there's one team very happy in that dressing room and the other one very, very down. But you've got to now play for pride. Come on. You've got families in the stand watching this. You've got to pull your socks up and try and make this second half a little bit more competitive. Forty-five minutes separating these two sides from glory. The second half of the Champions League final begins. Rakitic on the ball. Barcelona, free kick. It'll be here. And now Suarez. Well, great read there to intercept. A lot of forward thrust here from Ronaldo. Now, what can he do from this excellent position? Key block from Umtiti. Under real pressure defensively, will they pay the price? And Cristiano Ronaldo bags a goal. Well, how do you stop him? You put one on, he beats one. Put two on him, he beats two. Well, I just love to look at perfect technique and you won't get any better than this. It's just a dream strike. Brilliant, brilliant effort. And the goal that was scored, well worth another look, Lee. Well, sadly, we have to conclude that this hasn't really been a contest but all credit to any side committed to scoring a free kick decision goes the way of Barcelona teamwork might be the key routine really Juventus keep possession, and it's positive possession. What can they do from this position? Well, there might well be scope for them to counter-attack here. 
Well, that break looked so promising, but nothing coming from it. Ivan Rakitic. Sergio Busquets. Barca know it's a set. Suarez. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. Given away. Juventus have scored! Attack after attack. Sooner or later, you're going to score a goal. Well, the keeper will be frustrated. He thought he'd saved it. He's so unlucky there. It's a good angle from him as well, but it's in the back of the net. Well, the goal again, albeit from a different angle. Well, it has been one-sided, but they deserve the plaudits for the fact that they've kept going and going. Barcelona, free kick, it'll be here. Read it superbly to take back possession. Running towards goal, one man to beat. And it's there for him. And this time, it's in. Well, as we look at this again, the keeper's every right to ask where his back line was, but 2v1 in the end, he's thinking now, is he going to pass or go around me? He's got no chance. There has been a gulf in quality tonight. But you've really got to give them credit for the fact that they haven't let up at all. Tremendous intuition to win it back. Cristiano Ronaldo. Keeper's contribution, but what next? Well, Derek, we've just seen a remarkable save. I thought it was in, you thought it was in, everybody thought it was in. The free-kick decision goes the way of Barcelona. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Just been a thoroughly cogent and convincing performance in this match, Lee. Well, we all know creating and scoring goals is the hardest thing to do in football, but Juve have ticked. And Ronaldo takes on the shot. And up for grabs off the keeper. Alexandro now, given away by Busquets. The fans in favour of the shot here. And it's in from Paolo Dybala. Well, he's positioning on the pitch. He's second to none. His finishing isn't bad either. Well, let's see that one again. It's all about the contact. Does everything right. He's not bothered where the goal is. He knows where it is. He gets a beautiful strike on it. A bit more analysis as regards the goal. Well, sadly, we have to conclude that this hasn't really been a contest, but all credit to any side committed to scoring goals like this. Here's Ronaldo. Magnificent from Mark andre Ter Stegen. It's a corner. Over it comes. Thumped clear. Inside the final five minutes now. Barcelona have lost possession. Costa with it. And here is Dybala. 
and he's broken free. Can he beat the goalkeeper? And Cristiano Ronaldo bags a goal. Well, how do you stop him? You put one on, he beats one. Put two on him, he beats two. Well, as we see from the replay, the keeper's got no chance. It's all about the strike, all about the power. He does everything right, head down, back of the net. Well, let's go back to the goal that was scored. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. Sergio Roberto. The electronic board has been held in the air and we're going to have a minimum of four added minutes. One minute remaining. Cristiano Ronaldo. Well, it might still work out for them. Dembele. Italy's old lady has passed the final test. Juventus are the winners of the UEFA Champions League. Well, you have to say, fully deserved as well. All those months of toil, the training sessions, etc. The sacrifice, the commitment, the desire, the hunger. The luck as well, but the application to put all that into a package and then win this brilliant trophy. They do set very high standards for themselves, these Juventus players. But this is something they will remember forever. What a feeling of pride it must give you to be able to say you're part of the team that's the best in Europe League. Well, you know, these players get paid fortunes. Bank accounts are full of money, but it doesn't matter. It's about memories. When you finish your career, you look back at these moments. How many trophies have I won? How many times have I celebrated? on a podium with his famous trophy. The buoyant Bianconeri. Juventus lift the Champions League trophy. Brilliant moment, especially for the captain. He gets his hands on the trophy first. Well, they certainly intend to savour this. Juventus, and they ought to. Doesn't come along every night of the week. Well, this is the moment I love, sharing it with the fans. The ticker tape's coming down, the family's in the stand, giving them all a wave. But they've travelled all over Europe watching this team. Now they get to share in this moment. Fantastic. Well, it took fire as well as ice on the pitch. Now the chance for a photograph. My mum always told me to get on the front row. She taught you well, Lee. There we have it. The Champions League victors for 2019.